Hey Doc, Dr. James Fedich here, drjamesfedich.com. I'm gonna hear and talk to you today about checklists. So one of the best advice I ever got from one of my first mentors, Dr. Noel Lloyd, five-star management, great guy, He's still out coaching, consulting, chiropractor, really good guy. And with his five-star management seminars, one of the best quotes I still in my head remember all the time from Dr. Lloyd was, you don't get what you expect, you get what you inspect. So I remember him teaching that, and then I kept my reading and studying and practice development over the years, you know, that was 15, 16 years ago. And one of the best things I've implemented in my clinic over the years allowed us to grow and allow things to work well when I'm not here. And that's one of the big things too, you know, to build a million dollar practice is not that hard, but to do it where I leave at one o'clock, two days a week, and I can take off whenever I want, and things still run smoothly. I remember, I think it was when I had my second child, we had a record week, and I was out of the office for a week. And we've had record weeks more than once when I'm not here. And that one of the really important things is to have a lot of systems set up in your place. So we have an office procedure manual, we have systems manuals, we have training checklists, position checklists, all that kind of stuff. But one of the easiest things, I know it's a lot, and we're constantly evolving and changing, and you wanna get there at some point, but what we wanna do first is a positional checklist. So this is a real, real easy thing to do. If you're a coaching member, these are in the member site, but um, each position has a, more, a checklist, and everybody is responsible for their own. One of the original mistakes I made when doing checklists is that I would make the checklist and then that they would do it, right? And originally, you're gonna to have to do that, you set it up, but what'll happen is, oh, you know, we don't do decompression anymore, we sold the laser, whatever. Things change, they'll say that they can't do their checklist because we don't have this or things change, we open later, whatever, they'll say it's changed. So kind of what I did was I originally developed checklists per positions and now it's totally on them. So they're saved in our, in our shared you know, server for everybody and each position and each employee, so even now that we're grown, we have two front desks at all time, they each have a separate checklist because they do slightly different things throughout the day. One's responsible for ordering, one's responsible for this. So they're all responsible for their own checklist. So you develop the checklist once, and if you're a smaller office, you probably just need a front desk checklist and a therapy person if you have one checklist. So do it when you're small. You know, now we have therapy checklists, there's different, uh, the therapy people kind of do the same, front desk are different, billing checklist, chiropractor have checklists, et cetera. So we have a lot of positions. So develop a checklist for each member of your team, get a rough estimate, and then give it to them. It's their responsibility. But it's their responsibility to have it on your desk or in your bin or where you want it every night. So that's one of the things, we have a bin for me, it's in the bin at the end of the day. If I don't see it in the morning, we're gonna talk about it. If it happens a couple times, we have a problem there. So it's in that bin every time. And um, so that's really, really important. So if I'm out a week, there'll just be a week's worth of checklist stacks up and I can flip through them. So I can't, I'm not gonna go through all this stuff. You know, it's the stuff opening the door, count the cash drawers, it's our front desk leads checklist. You know, make sure the credit cards and receipt match before, get all day twos prepped for the morning of. Uh, get the charts out, label the day sheets, make appointments, co-pays, all that stuff they need to do. Uh, at the end of the day, count the cash drawer back up, tally up the day sheets, make sure the charts match, the charts are done, uh, entering new patients into the software, entering them into the email server, those types of things are gonna be on there. And at the bottom, a couple things that I, I like, we, we have a health pass, today I gave a health pass to X, so they have to give out one health pass per person. Um, and then I always have kind of a line, something I need, like it kind of usually says, Dr. Jim, you need to know about X. And it's something maybe important to happen that day or something I missed that I didn't know about or they need to confer or you know, message me about something that's the way to do that. So one of the easiest way I tell you to get consistent in your practice, have a staff checklist, get one for every position, which you probably heard before, which you probably haven't done, but even if you have, then turn it over to them. Here's your checklist of the big things I want done. You're responsible for keeping this up to date and in my mailbox every single day. So it's really helped you continuously grow the practice. Hopefully it helps out. For more information, go to www.drjamesfetich.com.